Well, hello everybody, welcome back to 2C TV. Let's talk about Michael Walker of Novara Media, uh, the, the left wing news outlet, new media uh, news outlets. Uh, that he went on GB News on Jacob Rees Mogg's show uh, to be interviewed, to have a debate about uh, this whole discussion that's been going on for the past week or so about uh, Israel and Hamas conflict. It's a very straightforward question that Jacob Rees Mogg asks Michael Walker it says, Do you condemn? Do you see? Uh, Hamas as a terrorist organization somehow Michael Walker chooses to make it sound complicated saying it's not as easy as it is you know we can't really call them you know terrorists you know what they did is quite bad it's, it's, it's in a terrorist act absolutely but mm, not really sure as an organization they are that bad to be terrorists I mean it's absolutely chaotic let's just go to, the, to this interview it's, a, it's a, basically a few seconds of the clip that we have it's fascinating if you're supporting Hamas, they should, yeah, yeah. That's a good, we're, we're well, agreed that's, on that. So my okay, disagreement so with you, that. maybe we could have saved a lot of time here. And what about, my disagreement with you here is not that Hamas are bad. Hamas are bad. Good. My disagreement with you here and Hamas are terri is, Hamas is, terrorists. Yes, you're willing to say yes, that. You're not like the BBC. You, you're, well, are you willing to say they're terrorists? I mean, this was an act of terrorism, but they are. I, I think there are differences between saying. I mean, uh, they're so also, not willing to say they're terrorists. Well, listen, I, I don't really care whether we no, call no, them terrorists. On. What, so what I care important. about? No, let me say what I care about. BBC says this is a BBC says this is a value judgment. Is okay. your value such that you call Hamas a terrorist organisation? So my values are this: no parties in a conflict should commit war crimes. Now, a war are crime. Are they terrorists? Um, no party in a conflict should commit. War crimes. I don't really care if we call them terrorists or militants. Well, are they willing to call them terrorists? Will call you them... say, let's conclude on this, Hamas are terrorists? Are you willing to say that? Uh, I think Hamas committed an act of terrorism. OK, but you're not willing to say they're terrorists. This is That's the brilliant. Debate. He won't say it. Thank you very much um, for joining me. As always, you're very well. <laughs> what is it to say? So this is the dark side of the political left in Britain. There's still a lot of people, a lot of people, not everybody, on the extreme left and the far left and the hard left, whatever you want to call it, who don't even realize that sometimes what they do or what they say is pretty evil. Because for them, at the, at the end, it justifies all means. It doesn't really matter how you get there. Because for them, the, the, all the problems in the world is because it's us versus them. It's uh, somebody's against us. So there's, there's a boogeyman, there's, there's a villain. You need to fight against it. That's the whole point of the political left. Even if the boogeyman doesn't exist, they will still create it in their heads. You know, back in the day, it was the, the factory owners. Then it was the rich and the, the, the powerful. And even when they are the establishment, when they become the powerful, they still create a boogeyman for no reason. Now, it's a lot easier to point out a few extreme far-right people to say, well, what they're doing is pretty evil. They are selfish and they, they're not progressive. They, they don't want to um, be open to changes that we could have in society. And they want to keep things more traditional. Ooh, how dare they? It's pretty easy to say that. You know, there's a lot of people who don't like change. There's a lot of people who are not tolerant towards other cultures. Fine. But, and, and they could admit it. They were like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want any other culture. I don't want uh, modernity. I want tradition. They admit. They're nationalists. They're populists. What do they are? But the political left, they, they still don't realize what they are. Because they still go around saying, we are the good guys. All we want is nice things. And can we not basically kill people? Like, well, who wants to? Unless you're a psychopath. Well, who wants to go out there and do bad things for no reason? So all the people who do bad things, they're doing it just like the political left because they think that the end justifies the means. So they end up doing bad things and they can still justify it. And this is the whole problem with the debate. And that's why the political left, in terms of education, academia, they continue to have to control and dominate the, uh, the battleground because they're going out there they're teaching kids that we are the good guys and there are some bad guys over there and we have to do everything. Sometimes we have to do bad things, but we're not going to call it bad things in order to stop the bad guys from winning. Oh, anyway, let's take a quick break. We're going to come back with more updates for you guys. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.